Hi guys, welcome back to our kitchen. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Claudia, and I invite you to hit that subscribe button so you too can be part of our family. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I make some delicious gorditas de picadillo. In case you guys wanna how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. We're going to begin by roasting three Anaheim peppers. And once our chilies are completely roasted, we're going to transfer them into a Ziploc bag. We're going to close the bag and allow our chilies to sweat. In a small pot, we're going to add chile serranos. I'm using five, one Roma tomato, five tomatillos, and we're going to cover them with water, set it on high heat, and bring them to a boil. And once everything comes to a boil, we're going to transfer them into a blender cup. And at this point, our chiles should be ready, so we're ready to peel them. So we're just going to peel them, remove the stem and seeds. And one of the chiles we're going to transfer into our blender cup. The other two, we're going to chop them into small pieces. Okay, so for our salsa, we're also going to add a handful of cilantro, one small piece of onion, one garlic clove, a quarter cup of water, and salt. And now we're just going to blend until we have a smooth salsa. Okay, and once we have our salsa, now we can finish making our picadillo. To make our picadillo, we're going to grab our skillet or frying pan. We're going to set it on medium heat and we're going to add about one tablespoon of lard or oil. And we're just going to wait for it to heat up. Okay, so once it heats up, we're going to add half of a small white onion. And we're going to saute for a couple minutes. Okay, so after a couple minutes, we're going to add one pound of ground beef. And we're going to season our beef with two teaspoons of garlic salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of onion powder. And we're just going to break down our meat and allow it to cook for about three minutes. Okay, so after three minutes, we're going to add two medium-sized potatoes, cut into small pieces. And now we're just going to cook them for five minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to add our green chiles. Mix it all together. Okay. And now we're going to add our salsa. Mix it. And we're going to bring it to a simmer. Okay, so once it comes to a simmer, try it for salt. And if you need to add some more, go ahead and add it. And now we're just going to reduce the heat to the lowest setting. Cover it. And allow that to cook for about 15 minutes. Okay, so while we wait for our picadillo, we're going to begin to make our masa for our gorditas. So in a bowl, we're going to add four cups of maseca, a half a cup of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, and salt. I'm using one and a half teaspoons. So just mix it together with your clean hand. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of queso Oaxaca. And slowly we're going to begin to add hot water, as hot as your hands can handle, and just begin to mix it. Just keep adding the water. Okay, so once you no longer have any dry harina, now we're just going to continue mixing, and then knead for about five minutes. Okay, so once our masa is nice and soft and it no longer sticks to our hand, it's ready. So now we're just going to cover it and allow it to rest while we continue waiting for our picadillo. Okay, so after 15 minutes, our picadillo should be ready. Let me tell you, that smells delicious. So of course, just make sure that your potatoes are fully cooked. They're nice and soft. So it's done. So now we're just going to turn it off and set it to the side and now we're ready to make our gorditas. All right, so once we get ready to make our gorditas, we're going to get our oil ready. So in a frying pan, we're going to set it on medium heat and we're going to add a little bit of oil. 
just enough oil to cover the gordita. And of course, if you don't want to fry them, you can always grill, grill them. All right, so as we get ready to shape our gorditas, we're going to grab a large ball of dough. And now we're just going to roll it. And wet your hands so like that it's easier. And now we're just going to flatten it out. Okay, and just shape it. And once you have it like that, we're going to set it to the side and repeat the same process to the rest of our dough. All right, so once we have our gorditas shaped, now we are ready to fry them. Okay, so we're going to place our gordita in our oil. And we're going to fry it for about three minutes on each side. Okay, so after three minutes, we're going to flip our gorditas over. And we're, and we're going to allow that side to cook for another three minutes. Okay, so after three minutes, we're going to remove our gorditas from the oil. And now carefully, we're going to cut them open. So just grab your knife and carefully begin to slide them open. Grab your knife and just go all around. And they're still very hot, it's not raw. Just allow it to cool down. And just like that, we have our pocket. And we're going to repeat the same process to the rest of our gorditas. Alrighty guys, and once we have our gorditas, now we are ready for the fun part, stuffing them. So we're going to begin by grabbing our picadillo. And you add as much as you want. I like to stuff mine. Going to add some lettuce. And of course the toppings all whatever you like. Going to add some crema mexicana. Some slices of tomato. Some avocado. And of course, some queso fresco. And just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious gorditas de picadillo. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super delicious. Um, if you love gorditas picadillo, this is for you. So cheers and enjoy. super delicious and it's not so spicy but of course we want to add spice you add more chiles mm. it's perfect alrighty guys and there you have it on how to make some delicious gorditas de picadillo I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up share with your friends and family and if you regret this recipe please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.